new statistics on its screenings. New reports show that over 70,000 COVID-19 tests have been processed on the university's campus. This is done through a saliva testing format. This is also what the whole country is looking at, looking into this new data. Our goal is not to open. Our goal is to stay open. On-campus testing at the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana now accounts for 1 to 2 percent of the total daily COVID-19 tests conducted in the United States. The U of I's SHIELD team has developed saliva tests in their own system for processing those tests. So far, students moving in are happy with the process, saying it only takes six hours before they find out their results. Everything else is pretty fast and runs smoothly. The testing is all done in their private lab on campus. The veterinary diagnostic lab has been converted into a COVID-19 test testing facility. This does not affect Champaign-Urbana testing sites and wait times. This is a complete independent operation that the university fully funded to allow us to do this on our own. Data from the past four days shows that 30,000 students and faculty have been tested with only over 100 new positive cases. Because we get the test results back so quickly, we can isolate people, we can do contact tracing, all of those things interact non-linearly to bring the epidemic to manageable and safe levels. Data from the positive cases does reflect in the Champaign County total number of cases. The Champaign-Urbana Public Health Department has nearly 150 employees helping with contact tracing and education. We have um, over 35 new contact tracers hired and trained right now. They, they're working. We have an evening shift. We can always expand that even further. The world continues to watch the advancements the U of I has set in place to bring students back in a safe manner. The world is watching. They can see this being the testing and the, the strategy to basically get the country back going. Models show that over the next three weeks, a spike will occur due to the influx in students on campus. The community wants to reiterate that following social guidelines, uh, social distance guidelines and wearing a face covering will be the best at stopping the spread of the virus. Reporting from the University of Illinois, Taylor Deckard, back to you.